everyone a good day everyone this is Jake Pomperada from Apollo City Negros Occidental Philippines in this video tutorial we will learn how to write a C++ program that will ask the user to give two numbers and then it will perform a series of, of arithmetic operation like addition subtraction division and multiplication before we started if you like this video tutorial please click the like button leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial and subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials so let's get started and every C++ program we will start with the declaring of our standard library file in this case we will uh, declare sharp include io stream this library file is very important because it allows us to use uh, console out and console in for output and input of our program next using name names namespace the third line in line number six we will declare our function int main the int main is a standard function in every C++ program that is being executed by our compiler when we when we run our program begin and then we will declare a series of variables int a we initialize the value to 0 b 0 sum we have here difference uh, okay next line we will have product uh, and lastly quotient for division Next, console out, double line, a double new line. Next, we will have the title. Backslash T, horizontal tab. Uh, title of our program, um, basic arithmetic. Operations in C plus plus followed with the semicolon we will copy this also and then paste next console out enter it will prompt the user to give two numbers two numbers colon followed with a semicolon c in a variable a and variable b by this time we will perform a series of computation by using the assignment operator the first is sum equals open parenthesis a plus b semicolon this expression will perform a series of addition of two numbers next we will have difference this will be perform subtraction a minus b semicolon okay next is product that will perform a multiplication operation between variable a and variable b semicolon and lastly we will have the quotient that will perform division of variable a and variable b now this right now we have already the input this portion will be the process and then the next step is the output input process output that is the operation that we will be performed in our program next console out we will have the sum of sum of a 
and let's move downwards B is uh, sum okay so, uh, we can have a new line here for formatting purposes semicolon end of the statement and then after we have done all we need to do is to copy this portion and then paste and then here we simply change the word sum to difference okay and then here difference okay the problem is the spacing okay next copy paste again by this time we are already dealing with product let us change this one and then instead of the word product in this line we will change it to add sum to product and then lastly paste again copy paste again and then quotient have a statement here telling that the user of end of the program see my colon after we have done oops, sorry uh, let us summarize first now so in this portion we declare a series of variables in our program and then we will have a title of our program in this case the title that we have is basic arithmetic operations in C++ in this area it will ask the user to give two numbers we have variable A and variable B and then in this portion will be performed a series of computation or the process so we have sum assignment operator sum a plus b difference that will perform subtraction difference equals a minus b and then the third is multiplication product a multiplied by b in quotient a divided by b now in this portion of our code will display the result of the computation that is being performed above after which we will have a message that tells the user of our program that this is the end of our, the program execution now we will save our work press ctrl s in our dmc++ ide right click we will create a new folder so we will have basic math operations this is the name of our folder so basic math operations double click and then here basic underscore math dot cpp this is the file name of our program and basic underscore math and then the extension is dot cpp we have always to specify the extension that cpp because if we don't it will by default in dmc plus but it will save only that c so our program uh, will not be a c plus plus but a c program but the content is c plus plus so we will save okay the next step that we'll do is to check for syntax error so we go to the menu execute compile Let's just check for if there is some syntax error in our program okay we clearly see that there is none but it doesn't mean if there are no syntax error our program is already correct so let us run our program to check so maybe the way there I would 
like to add horizontal tab here save compile and run so let's say for example I will give 100 and 10 enter okay the sum of 110 is 110 the difference of 110 is 90 the product of 110 is 1000 the quotient of 110 quotient is 10 okay now what is the problem here the spacing I forgot to put backslash T on the output so let us improve our program by simply adding horizontal tab in each line of our output horizontal escape sequence character in C++ okay I, I think I have to deduct uh, reduce or subtract okay one last time we will compile and run our program let's say for example we will have 20 and 5 enter two numbers okay the sum of 20 and 5 is 25 the difference of 20 and 5 is 15 the product of 20 and 5 is 100 the quotient of 20 20 and 5 is 4 there is still some formatting issues here so let us correct that one okay okay that's okay this is a live recording so those so there are some things that beyond our control okay so again we will have um, 30 and 2 no? enter two numbers so the sum of 30 and 2 is 32 the difference of 30 and 2 is 20 the product of 30 into is 60 the quotient of 30 into is 15 here we got it uh, guys now so we have already created a program that will ask two numbers from our user and then our program will perform basic arithmetic operations in C++ like addition subtraction multiplication and division before we end if you like this video tutorial, please click the like button, leave a comment in the comment section of this video tutorial so that I can get some feedback from you guys how I can improve my next video tutorials and suggestions on, on another topic on computer programming. And subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials. Thank you very much for watching uh, in this video tutorial. I really appreciate for those viewers who subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Until next time, guys, bye-bye for now.